Ini And we're off, that is the start of the men's 10 kilometer. FINA CNSG Marathon Swim World Series out here in Lac Saint John, Roberval, Quebec, Canada. And here we have the first feeds. As the swim's going round, we got Deegan from Australia without the cap out in front. That's all the swimmers through the feed now. So that's lap one done, and on to lap two of six. With Deegan Foss straight out in front, and Christoph Rozowski from Hungary beside him, and Pontier from Brazil. So that's the three swimmers out in the front. That could be significant. I've got a feeling they will stay there. They might even start pushing the pace a bit and break up this pack. On lap two we have Marcel Schutten from the Netherlands out in front and on his toes there we have Christoph Rozowski from Hungary number 17 and beside him we have number one Poulet from Canada and let's go down the pack there without the swim hats Australia and that's Deegan and beside him we have France Zituni, Zituni from France and going down the pack now you can see we've got somebody just falling off there as a pace quickens so just on the stretch them out for the first time now someone's gone to the front and he's just taking it on now Marcel Schutan obviously he won last year so he's back defending his title and this is the man at the end of lap three going on to the fourth lap coming into the feeds the men going into their final lap and you can see Christoph staying out he's not going in for the feed so Christoph took to the front just before the last lap and that just glanced back there and that is Christoph out in front and look at that gap what opened up there Christoph out in front and Francicchini in second Tini in second, and then we have Marcel Chatan from the Netherlands in third. But wow, what a sudden acceleration and pace. Look at there, just go forward. We have two lead boats because the men are just about to pass the women's lead pack. So that is Christoph. Look at the gap that's opened up. Christoph, he's got five meters at least five meters. The recently crowned five kilometer world champion has really taken the rest of the swimmers to task on this final lap. So a big gap opened up there. And then the chase pack. We have one, two, three, four swimmers in the chase pack. Two Italians, Netherlands and France chasing down Hungary. Now the interesting thing here is, will the women spot the men and try and jump on to the toes? In theory this can change a race, but it looks like Christoph at the moment is quite fairly wide of the swimmers. Across you can see Canada now. She's seen Christoph, look at that. Jumped across from one pack to the other. So here's one of the Canadian swimmers jumped across and is going to try and jump on the draft to Christoph and see if she can pass some of the other swimmers. Wow. 
Oh, a small gosh. Now, small gosh, she's there. Uh, we've seen early on, she's a handy swimmer. She's out in front for a lot of the race. Tactically, very aware there. She saw Christoph. Christoph is going to be motoring those, it's going to be hard. I mean, it's hard for anyone to stay on his toes at the moment. Yeah, she hasn't made it. And look, now she's left in a, in dead water. She's trying to decide what to do. Now, if she looked behind her, she'd see some other swimmers she could try and jump on the back of. And there is Christoph, still motoring past now. So it's all really kicked off on this final lap. But Christoph looking comfortable out in front, going into the finish. And that is, the women have one lap to go. What a final lap that was. Tini in seconds. Congratulations, first place. Now this is probably quite a tough race for you after all the travel you've been doing. How did you feel before the start of the race? I felt that I'm not that tired as I as I was uh, expecting it. So I felt that if we are doing a slow first half of the race, uh, I think that I, I could be uh, really fast in the last lap. So I pulled it a little bit more on the first fourth lap to make uh, the pack a little bit longer and then stay back for lap to, to save energy and then push it again to to go away to back and it and it's managed so in the first rate back to the finish I saw that I'm alone so I don't have to push it as I as I thought that was the two Italian and Marcel as well from Netherlands so I was afraid that they can come with me and then it would be a close finish but hopefully it wasn't that <laughs> and obviously you've just become world five kilometer champion so let's just talk about that quickly so how do you feel after becoming World Champion of 5K. Uh, I'm really happy about it to to could be here in this World Cup, and it's much more better as a World Champion. So it's really good to say that I'm a World Champion and I could be here for racing. From Hungary with a time of 1 hour 53 minutes 28.8 seconds, Christoph Razovski. Et voici maintenant l'hymne national de la Hongrie. <laughs> 